Adam Shelton is an attorney representing the mom. That is Amber Levine, which you saw there, reported by the Associated Press. Adam, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, we appreciate that to discuss this. The mom you're thanks representing, absolutely. The mom you're representing claiming the school district's counselor encouraged her 13-year-old teen's so social gender transition, providing a chest binder, using a nude name, using pronouns without consulting the mother, alleging the school officials intentionally concealed gender counseling from the mother. Um, can you tell me more about this case where it stands today and how strong is it? Yes. So we filed a federal complaint in the United States District Court for Maine just last week, alleging that the school district has violated Ms. Levine's 14th Amendment right to control and direct the education, upbringing, and health care decisions of her children uh, when it hid information from her about her daughter. We've just filed the complaint last week, so right now we're waiting for the school to respond, uh, which will be really nice because the school so far has um, been following a policy of non-engagement um, and has refused to kind of engage with anything or um, respond to any questions we've had other than release a couple of very vague public statements. Which we've learned a little bit about in the suit. It states that the mother, Levine, contacted the superintendent, contacted the principal, but they appeared to support the, the social worker um, in this story, in this suit. The principal, in, in fact, writing this in a letter to parents in February. This is according to the National Review to, again, source this for you. But it says, quote, a misunderstanding of these laws pertaining to gender identity and privilege communication between school social workers and minor clients has result resulted in school and staff members becoming targets for hate speech and ongoing threats. So, again, uh, that is from the principle of, uh, obtained by the National Review, a letter there. Uh, any comment on that? How does that sit with this suit? You know, obviously, we, we don't condone any sort of negative speech or threats towards any school official. Uh, but we will say is that the court or the school here seems to have left out entirely of their calculation the rights of parents and the rights of parents to be involved with these types of decisions. Parents cannot meaningfully control and direct the education, health care decisions um, and upbringing of their children if the schools are keeping them in the dark about important information about their children. OK, f just finally here, what is the. What is the outcome that is desired, if that makes sense to you? What, what does the mother in this case want to see happen? Right. What we're asking for is for the school to adopt a new policy that mandates that school officials inform parents any time they make a decision that directly affects the mental health or physical well-being of a child. All right. We'll leave it right there. I'll obviously, continue to follow that case as it plays out. Adam Shelton, uh, again, representing the mother in this case. Adam, good to see you, and thank you for that. We appreciate it. Thank you.